Bridges has always been surrounded by stars. She married one, Lloyd Bridges. Then she raised two stars of her own, Jeff and Bo, and daughter, Lucinda, who is a star painter. In fact, Dorothy's writing a book about the kids. I wonder if she's gonna call it, Don't Cross Your Bridges Until You've Diapered Them. <laughs> Probably not. I'll tell you one thing about Dorothy. She's the proudest mother you'd ever want to meet. This is the Bridges family gallery, you might say. Actually, they're our most prized painting because our kids did them. Jeff did this when he was only about, I don't know, 12, 14 years old. He gave it to his father for his father's birthday. And there's a great spotlight in the sky. And interesting to me because he's got that little tiny Shakespearean figure and he'd never seen a Shakespearean play before. Now, Cindy is probably the most professional and well-trained of our home artists. She was an art major at UCLA. She did this when she was about 12, I think, at pen and ink of her Raggedy Ann sitting on her bedroom shelf. Bo went to the University of Hawaii for a year so he could major in surfing. And he, uh, <laughs> while he was there, he painted his interpretation of Diamond Head, which I like very much. When son Jeff drops in on the weekend, he knows he can always find mom in the kitchen fixing up the family's yeah, favorite recipe. Sometimes Dorothy even lets Jeff help her cook. First of all, did you wash your hands? Did you wash your hands, huh? Yeah, you did. OK. You remember when you were in your high chair? And Bo always helped me. And you'd go, ah, ah, you know, you want to help too? And I gave you some dough to play with. How did I and go? How did I go? <laughs> tell. And you know what you did with the dough? Do you remember? <laughs> yes, no, you do. You want to sit down on TV? Or... No, you put it all inside your ears and up your nose. <laughs> and made a terrible mess. And it took me weeks to get you clean. So I didn't let you do it again until you were about four. You referred to me as the general. I'm an organizer. You, you are the organizer, that's right. But I don't. You're in charge. But no, all, uh, you're not afraid of me any of you, are you? Of course I'm afraid of you. Scared to death. I remember one thing when I was a child that the general ordered me to do. What was that? And it was a very fearful assignment at the time. I must have been about nine, maybe. Oh, you nice. ordered me yeah. to go to Cotillion to learn to dance. <laughs> Oh, Do you remember that? How old was I? Eight or nine? No, I think you're ten. older. I think you were ten. You came home. The thing you objected to most was getting cleaned up, washing your hands and face, putting on a dark suit and a tie. And I remember you came home from school the day I said, "All right, today is the day of the cotillion." And you went in the bathroom. You actually had tears in your eyes. And you said, "But mom, I'm too young to dance." <laughs> like you were going off to war. If I ever need to cry in movies, that's what Then what happened? Then what happened? And you got so good, you became a teacher, didn't you? Yeah, I did teach for a while. Right. Yeah, a lot of fun. So what's the moral of the story? When the general says dance, you dance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, now she's she's our ringleader. She's there telling us uh, what to do and how to have a happy life. And uh, the family is very important to her. As a matter of fact, she sacrificed everything for her I, family. I never said that in my life. <laughs> no, no, and I'm I saying it. It's a big <laughs> family and a lot of grandkids, and she, she really takes charge. And without her, we probably would be in chaos. She's done something really quite remarkable for... Uh, Live with me all these years. Well, that, that's <laughs> that's nice. No, but on the writing side of things, Mom has kept a diary. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Every oh, day of her life since you two have been married. Yeah, and started on our 50 wedding day. years. 51. 51. Right. Started on our wedding day, 51 years ago, and the first page of it said, I cried all day, I'm getting married, and I don't even like it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> well, I, now I'm, I'm doing biographies of each child, Start working from my journals. See, this is Jeff's story. And, uh, <laughs> and I'm... I, I start out from the time we either decided to have them or were trying to have them and what the world was like then. And then I go into great detail about how they were born. And for Jeff, for instance, uh, he was all ready to be born and decided he didn't want to be born. And he turned upside down <laughs> and wouldn't get born. And uh, there was a lot of drama in the delivery room and didn't think we were all going to make it. And Cindy, this is her bows I've already finished, because I just take them up till age 21. 
And then I figured they know what's happening in their lives better than I do. I remember a, like a foundation of rules. There was, um, you know, scheduled time to do homework and, and have your snack and play with your friends. And we, or I guess I'll speak personally because I, I can't speak for Jeff, but I, I would try to follow it. And then if I didn't, I don't remember ever getting uh, punished or, or being strict. Could be my memory going, <laughs> but... Um, Really, mom's form of discipline was, uh, I guess you'd say friendship, because what you did, was, which was so great, I thought, was that you took an hour out of your life each day and designated that hour to each child and did whatever, <clears throat> whatever that kid wanted to do. And during that hour, you wouldn't accept any phone calls from your friends and... Or you could include your you friends. Could include, you, yeah, you, can, uh, you, know, you could include, yeah, you could include your friends sister. or brothers or sisters or whatever. And, and mom would do whatever we wanted to do for that hour. And, uh, you know, when we were kids, I remember going into her, her makeup sometimes her and up. making her up like, yeah. you know, a clown or whatever we wanted <laughs> yeah. to make her up. You know, we would, uh, you know, play all the, you know, games and stuff. And uh, one of those things that that, that time did was um, that you got to... Uh, own your mother. And the theory was that if your child had your undivided attention, then they wouldn't always be pulling on you and nagging right. at you. And if they just owned you for that period. Interesting. And you right. know, like even if your husband came home from work, you say, oh, you're home early. I'm sorry, but I'm still having my time with Jeff or Lucinda. I was just going to say, when did I get my time? <laughs> Night time. You, know, you, you had time all the time, except when it was their time. I know it isn't Father's Day, but... Uh, he was in, totally involved with each child yeah. from the moment of birth. In fact, the first fight <clears throat> we ever had is when I brought Bo home from the hospital. Oh, yeah. And he brought him in for me to nurse him. He told me I wasn't doing it right. <laughs> <laughs> Smothering my child. I said, okay, <laughs> you do it. Thanks. You know, so <laughs> but he's, he's totally involved with everything. Wouldn't you say, Jeff? Oh, yeah. No, I just want to say <laughs> that, that I feel so fulfilled <clears throat> as a a woman, you know, as a mother. That's maybe why I never want to want to be somebody. Maybe that's why I've never achieved anything. You are. Because I've been so happy being a mother <clears throat> and with this gentleman who thinks he's your father. I'll tell you the truth. <laughs> you know, I, I've been so happy being a mom and uh, and having all the richness of my life. And I think another thing I'm very lucky about is that I know how blessed I am, and I'm so grateful for it. And I wish every mother could be as fulfilled as I am and be so happy about her children and her family and her husband. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. I love you. Go over here and give her a little kiss, and, and I will. Did you get a part of me? Oh, wait, I know. Okay. <laughs> okay.